This video will show you how to restrict access to a Moodle activity or resource according to activity completion status. Using this restriction is especially helpful if you have a series of tasks that you want students to complete in a specific order. There are three examples of restrict access settings that can be used in Moodle. The first is activity completion. That is what we will discuss today. But you can also restrict access by group restriction as well as grade restriction. If you are interested in learning more about the different types of restrictions available in Moodle, please check out the videos in the description box below. Here's an example of using restrict access with activity completion where I want my students to undertake two activities in a specific order. To demonstrate this example, I'm logging in as a student. You can see I'm not able to access the second activity, and I see the restricted access message that this material is not available unless the first activity is marked complete. Also notice, if the prerequisite activity is not complete, the to do dropdown that you typically see with activity completion enabled will not show. Once the prerequisite activity has been completed, the to do drop down menu will appear to the right of the activity. I will show you an example of this later in the video. There are two steps involved in using this type of restriction. The first step is to add activity completion on the activity you want students to complete first. For instructions on how to do that, please refer to our tutorial linked in the description box. In this example, I have already completed this step. The second step is to apply the restrict access setting to the activity you want students to progress to after completing the first task. In your Moodle course, turn on edit mode in the upper right hand corner of the Moodle. Go to the activity you want to restrict access to and click on the edit menu page to the right hand side of the activity. Choose edit settings on the edit settings page. Under Restrict Access, click Add Restriction. In the pop-up window, click Activity Completion. You can see the Activity Completion restriction is added to this activity. In the Choose drop-down menu, select the activity students must complete before accessing this one. Select the completion condition on the right side of the drop-down menu. Add as many restrictions as are appropriate to the activity by clicking Add restriction. Make sure to click Save and Return to Course to save the changes. Now you can see the restricted message below the activity. You can see that this activity cannot be completed until this activity is marked as done. Remember, students will not see the To Do menu until the assignment is marked as done. Let's mark this assignment as done. Here you can see that now that the activity is marked done, the other activity is now able to be completed. And now you can see the to do menu display completion restrictions if they have been enabled for this activity. You will also notice that the restrict access text that was previously listed under the activity is no longer here. Once conditions of the restriction have been met, the restriction text will disappear from student view and will allow students to proceed. Restriction text will only appear when conditions are not met. For other restrict access examples, please refer to our videos in the description box below.